Yesterday, Twitch announced the Partner Plus program. Qualifying creators will receive a 70% profit share instead of the 50% that uniformly applies to partners and affiliates under the controversial monetized streamer agreement. But who qualifies for this program in the first place? A look at the FAQ page reveals it takes 350 paid subs, excluding gifted and prime subs. To put this into perspective, let's have a look at some numbers. Between April 2020 and April 2021, the share of prime subs was 43 to 50%. I don't think that number changed much since then. There are no official numbers for gifted subs, but if platforms like Twitch Tracker are to be believed, we are talking about at least 20% of a streamer's subs on average. With this, we now know that paid subs only amount to 30% of a streamer's total subs on average. Therefore, 350 paid subs also means around 333 gifted and 583 prime subs on average. A total of 1167 subs. At 50% profit sharing, that's around $250 per sub, or a total of $2,917 per month. Not for any small or medium-sized streamer, that's for sure. Fun fact, looking at Twitch Tracker, we only have to scroll to around rank 800 to find the Italian creator Hollywood285 as FIFA e-content creator of the year with over 10,000 views per stream, he does not qualify for the Partner Plus program, having only 310 paid subs. Even though Twitch does not publish the numbers of partners and affiliates anymore, we can assume 1.8 to 2 million streamers in this category. 800 of 2 million represents a whopping 0.04%. To say the Partner Plus program affects at most 1% of these streamers is probably not far-fetched. What a joke.